So I guess welcome back to Big Whisper. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make my latest model. This will be a two-part video, not really good. I'm like I'll come back in the middle of the video, but this is what it is. It's a dragon. It's called Little Red Flying Hood. I think it's a pretty cute name. I'll be um please be don't get mad at me for the interruption in the middle of the video. I don't have much time to make this video, so I'm gonna go a bit fast and then pick up with it a bit later. So it's all gonna be one video. So this is a dragon with fingers and a cool tail with a spade with a little knife at the end and a scales and then it has a really cool looking wing. This is my latest model and probably one of my most complex ones I've ever designed. So, but still it's pretty simple. We're going to start white side up. Let me just zoom out real quick. A bit more. You're going to start by folding, a, putting a pinch on the side halfway. Then make a pinch up to that pinch. And then fold up to that pinch and make a full crease. Now, you know, unfold and fold this corner to this to the top. To the, let me see if I can do it the same. There we go. The top, sorry, the bottom left corner to the top right corner. And make a pinch right here. Just make sure it's really accurate on where the where the crease you just made is, and you're gonna crease both going through the intersection. Now you're gonna make you're gonna make a rabbit ear with these two flaps. Make them align with each other. Take your time. It might take some practice. And make a squash that rabbit ear. Therefore, making the square base. It's a better name, like the, that, totally, that I always forget the name of. So I'm just going to call it square base, like Jeremy Schaefer does. I think it's pretty cool. So now, we're gonna pull, so now this is the part that where it differs. It doesn't really differ that much, but if you want, you're going to divide this into a certain amount. If you want five fingers, like I did on, like, I thought, if you want four fingers, like I did on mine, then you're going to, um, actually, you know, it's five fingers think and it's four fingers you're gonna or yeah five fingers you're gonna um fold this into sixths like along with this one if you want four, three fingers you're gonna fold it into quarters three fingers is easier but for the tutorial i'm gonna make sixths for the four fingers just fold in half and then fold those in half sixths are a bit harder so we're gonna um we're gonna make um we're just gonna kind of slowly align it yeah Okay, sorry, this video might have to end soon. Huh? Okay, so, um, and so we're gonna make a, we're gonna make those thirds. That wasn't me. Make it accurate. It's not very accurate. We're going to adjust it a bit more. Ah, it's a little bit else. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to divide each of these in half. This crease, this pit, this side, oh, this point, along with this point. Oops, that looks bad. Let's try that again. Okay. 
would be a bit higher. Let's look back at the right. There we go. That's better. I'm gonna fix that real quick. Sorry, I'm not perfect as no one is. Right? Isn't the, the more of a story? No one's perfect. Now, it's gonna be much easier on the next one because we already have the crease lines. Just go over them again. Right on that side. go along those creases. So we're going to start by folding in half. And this time we don't need to hard, do that hard method of dividing into thirds and estimating. All we need to do is go along the crease. And so now going to um, go down a bit, for if you're me, and unfold, so that's a bit higher. There we go. Now, we're going to fold the, each edge up to the first crease next to it. I'm gonna get interrupted. So that's all. Whoops. So that's all for now. And that's all for now. We're just gonna finish dividing the sixths. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now that we've divided into sixths, we're gonna make some reverse folds. So first, we're gonna make sure that this is even. And now, Way. We're gonna fold this, fold this over here along the bottom crease, and kind of flatten it. We're gonna do that with the crease closest to the top. It might be some a bit tricky. This isn't a very easy step. There we go. And then the bottom one. And the top one. Now we're going to do the final crease. on this side. There are many different names for this. Some might call it a bunch of reverse holds like a kaido. Some might call it a half pleat sink, which is much made up. Some might call it a pleat sink. I'm gonna call it a series of reverses. There's many different names for it. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I'm using a sheet of paper with 13.8 inches or 35 centimeters by 35 centimeters or 30 inches, approximately. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to turn over, make sure everything is completely flat, 
And we are going to fold edge to edge both directions. Make sure there's no paper cramps. Align it well. Make it strong and unfold. And repeat in the other direction. I forgot to say it. Now we're on the color side. No one's perfect, right? And I forgot this too. This is not for beginners. I'd say you have to have at least a year of heart of origami experience to do this. Probably more. Okay. We're still going on this side. And now we're going to fold each edge to the crease it's parallel with. The middle crease. Like this. Oops. And unfold. And repeat all the way around. simple collapse. Very, very simple compared to some color classes in this origami. Okay. I'm going into my room. I'm getting dressed and I'm in, okay? Sounds good. Sorry about that. Now we're going to turn over one last song, I hope. And we're going to make, and you see how these are sticking up? We're going to push them down. Push that point down. And now you're probably gonna see what's gonna happen. We're gonna fold the two edges, making a square base. And repeat on the bottom. And we're gonna make these two flaps, not square bases. nothing like a dragon. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this down. And then fold it back up. And now you're going to see a bunch of um, these flaps. We're going to just make squash folds making them pointy. We're gonna just open it up a little bit and squash them. We're gonna repeat on this side. Now, we're on the head of it, by the way. 
we're gonna um fold this in half, then unfold. Oh, mom, I'm recording. It's okay. So, um, then we're gonna make a squash fold. Sorry, it's the morning. Everyone's greeting me. Then we're gonna fold. We're gonna make fold these up. And then we're gonna unfold and make a petal fold. So one fold in that sentence. And now we're gonna fold up and make it crease it down very strong, especially right on the top where it looks like some type of shirt. Some robes or something, maybe, I don't know. Now, we're gonna unfold, and we're gonna pull this out, and pull out all of these. And we're gonna pull this back again. And now, we're gonna make sure that they um, squash well. Some of it is pulled out. Make sure it all pulls out. Now, I'm gonna make sure that they're diamonds, rhombuses, squares, however you wanna think about it. flattened now I'm gonna try to zoom in and we're going to fold this flap this edge against the middle the middle line And unfold. Now we're gonna do some, we're gonna do a sink. Open, close, whatever you want to call it. Basically, you're gonna make these creases on the outside and close it, and just to refine it a bit. This part I don't have a very good explanation for, so you might want to just watch. I'm not free on my computer. And then, let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna do this six times, by the way. Oh, and I forgot another six times on the other flap. There we go. We have the first layer done. Let's 
drawn face. I forgot that I was going to smooth that out for now. Finish up this side because I already did some of it. Let me try this again. I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna make a stronger crease. Like I said, strong creases always work, hopefully. Sorry if you can see it, I'm in a bit of trouble. Here we go. Now I'm gonna finish on this side. And the last one, hopefully. Nope, no, the last one. After this, we're gonna be halfway done. Because we're gonna have to repeat on the other side for the other hand. So we have our claws. Technically, you don't have to do this step, but um, it makes it easier for separating them. And this step is a bit tricky. There we go. And now we're going to fold this down and fold to the side. Oops. And I'm going to show you the next side in a bit. One sec. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm not really going to narrate. And I'll be... Oh, actually, do some brief narrations. So, we're gonna do a squash fold. That hard. Make sure it lines up. Now, fold the bottom edges to the middle. Make sure it stays together. Hold, make a pedal hold. Hold down, flatten down, I should say. Make strong creases here. If I can't show it, it's not completely safe. It's not a big deal. Now we're gonna make sure that this flattens well. Now let's keep putting the buttons on your end board. But the word that the best of these steps.
There we go. Hmm, one sec. We're gonna do the un the very not fun open sink in. Sinks. Not sure if it's open sink or closed sink. We're just gonna call it a sink. Creases. Let me fix that real quick. side now we're gonna do two more on each side. Trees are strong. There we go. One more to go on this side. Sorry, I'm really itchy. I have noticed that with my videos. I'm pretty itchy. Really itchy. There we go. Start repeat on the other side. Those last two flats. Those are my noises. I have button bracelets. <sighs> Last one. I know this is not a very comfortable step. Words. 
Okay, now we're gonna fold this down finally. We're done. Mm -hmm. And fold here. And fold these up. As you see, these two are gonna be the paws. Or the, should I say the fingers and the talons, the claws, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why it's the paws. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to make a, uh, uh, we're going to fold it. So now we're going to focus on the tail a bit. We're going to fold these two bottom edges. First fold it in half. Make sure it's oh, make sure it's accurate. Fix that a bit. One sec. So fold it in half and done fold. Now we're gonna fold the bottom edges to that line, to that crease. Make a petal fold going along these two creases. And I'm gonna zoom out. We oh, yeah, got never mind, I already zoomed out. If you want, by the way, if you want a really cool looking dragon with um red wings and a red head or a colored wings a colored head and uh and colored fingers and then white on the back what you're gonna do is you're gonna use uh you're gonna um get um you're gonna get you're gonna start white side up if you want the opposite you're gonna start color side up there we go now we're gonna fold this into thirds, just estimate. Feet on the other side by aligning it. Now we're gonna make a pleat sink. This time I know what it's called. Sorry about that. Now we're gonna repeat on this side. Just make those layers. Start an unfold. Then squash with this sticking up. So I'm gonna make this for me to see. Hopefully you're able to understand. Good enough. Now, we're gonna make sure that one's sticking this way. And we are gonna turn over. Now, we're gonna make a rabbit ear. So fold this edge to a race on this line. It's not exactly a line yet, but you're just gonna estimate. And fold to about there. Then repeat on the other side. 
Now we're gonna create the rabbit ear and squash it. Therefore creating this little wing. Then we're gonna fold um this part in. Let me check. First we gotta do this one of course. The rabbit ear. Oh, that's cold rabbit ear. I mean it looks like a rabbit ear, but still. It's kind of gross. So it's gonna look like a, a lot like some type of hip rider plane. Now, I'm gonna fold here, holding this edge to this edge. And then fold these back out. That's starting to look a bit more like a bird. So, fold here, fold back out. And then this crease is very strong. This is not gonna stay very well, unfortunately. So it just takes about a minute or two to crease, to really crease them. Good enough. Now we're gonna fold, turn it over. And we're going to, um, now what we're gonna do, we are going to fold in half. Like this, like so. Wait, I forgot something. You're gonna stay turned over and then fold this here. There we go. Now it's pretty simple from here on out. What we're gonna do, we're gonna fold the face up and out. Actually, yeah, I forgot. We, we fold the face like this. Like the hood. And then, it's gonna look a lot like something really weird. Then, we're gonna make the fingers to each little talon by pulling them separate apart from each other. Kind of squish them, squish the little fingers. Make sure they're really separate. And we're gonna repeat. We're gonna repeat on this side. So just like that. Carefully don't rip it. We're almost done. All we have to do is shape the tail, and then all we have, and then do the wings. So we're gonna start by shaping the tail, which is just a bunch of crimps. You can make them far apart or close together. It depends. The, just the closer together it is, the more crimps you'll be able, you'll be able to do. I did four crimps. I don't really know if this is a plea or a crimp. I'm just gonna call it a crimp. And we're gonna just angle it up. And we're gonna fold this and make a little, a little speed at the end.
Then we're gonna do the wings. We're gonna, the wings are just gonna be opening it. It's really simple. And fold, unfold these. And unfold this. And unfold this down like this, just around here. So that's the first wing. The second wing. We are almost done. We're just gonna make sure that this stays. Stay. Stay. Okay, good boy. Um, and we are done. We're little, little red flying hoodie. Even though it's not really red. Hope you enjoyed the video, and bye.